Hungry? Yes! Hungry agad! You had your sweet treats in every booth. Hungry na ba? Kaya pa? Okay! Okay, so hello everyone! So today we'll be talking about the latest technology of television. Okay? So don't you know that the very first TV, the modern television, the earliest ancestor TV is known as Octagon. Yung pala yung pangalan ng very first TV and that was built since 1928 by GE or General Electronics. O, diba? And that was just a 3-inch size of TV. And then it played the world's first drama known as The Queen's Messenger. So since 1928, Messenger, messenger pala na word is already sikat na. Okay. So it evolved into commercially home TV and it, it was only accessible as a Fancy toy of the rich people because way back then the television was really very expensive and then over the years there was a handful of designs of TV who remembers here the boxy type? Yes. Oh, alam na alam parang alam ko yung generation na yon. Ito sa mga so this is the CRT kind of TV. How about the plasma TV? Who knows that? Ano yun? 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 Ano more energy efficient TV and they made it slimmer, borderless, and it's known as the LED TV. Does everybody know what's an LED TV? Yes. Wow, this is a 20th century generation na kasi alam na yung LED TV. Okay, so today, I'll take you to another world of TV wonders, the Divine Quantum UHD TV. Alright, so let's start. So, what is... um? What, is, what are the quantum dots? So this is the technology that I'm talking about. So quantum dots, these are small particles, or it's a tiny crystals known as the semiconductor nanocrystal technology. So this technology is now embedded on the TV. Okay? So how tiny they are, so let's, let's take a look. So if you compare this tiny crystal or the quantum dots, it's a size of 60 times smaller than a tennis ball. Or it can be 10 times narrower than your hair. So that's how tiny they are. Or it's 1 to 5 times the width of a strand of a DNA. So that's how tiny their eyes they are. You cannot see it in your naked eye. The quantum dots embedded on the TV. Okay. So what's special? Why do we put on the, the quantum dots on TV? Okay. So they are photoactive. So it means this quantum dots, they absorb and then they emit... Um, once the light passes through the dots, they emit pure colors. So it makes the, the picture more reality. Okay, so I'll show you the video so you, you can understand what I'm talking about here. So this is how the quantum dust looks like. So from this video, the quantum dots are mixed with water, so you can see how does it look like. So you see, it's like when the flashlight flashes, the light flashes on the quantum dots, so the, the quantum dots illuminates. So that's why it creates better, pure, and high volume of colors. So the quantum dots, this, are, this is the latest technology within our TV now. So it's in different sizes. It depends on the color. So for the divine quantum UHD TV, we're using the primary color, the red, green, and blue. And what's um, unique about the quantum dots TV, unlike the 
before the LED backlight TV, they are using a white backlight. But this time, with the quantum dust, they're using a blue backlight. Okay? Because of the blue backlight, it can illuminate more uh, higher volume of color. That's why it's better to be using a blue backlight. So, so that's something unique about the quantum dust TV. All right, and if we dissect the la the layering inside the TV, so these are the different layers, and the quantum dots is suspended in this known as the quantum dot sheet or the cube sheet. So, what are the benefits for having the quantum dots? All right, so first you can achieve the and match color purity. So it's almost full palette of colors. With the quantum dots, it can deliver already the, the full palette of colors. So if you take a look at the CIP, this is the color chart. So this one, this is like the the full color that our naked eye can see. So ito yun yung buo. For a high definition TV, the blue one, the blue triangle, for high definition TV, so you can see this size of color gamut. And then if you're watching a digital cinema, this purple, so this is like the coverage of color. And another latest technology also nowadays is the organic LED or the OLED TV, the white triangle, and the quantum TV or the pink. It's the pink triangle. So if you can see, the OLED is more focused on the blue side. Well, the quantum does focus on rather on the green and the red colors. So under the color spectrum, so let's examine closely comparing the both two technologies of TV. One is the quantum dot here and the other one is the OLED. So if you can see on the OLED, you can achieve more blue here. and But if you check on the quantum dots, it has a balance all the colors of the red, green, and blue. So the color is more realistic having the quantum dots technology TV. Right? Another one, it is the brilliant bright. Um, you know before, the brightness on TV is not really an issue. But then, um, who's familiar with HDR? Who likes to download movies? So now that HDR, sir, right? HDR, so it requires some dark scenes. You wanted to see the details. So that's why the brightness has been improved with the quantum dots TV. So that's four times brighter than the old TVs. And another one, it's power sipping. It means 100%, it doesn't require any electricity to power on the quantum dots. Why? Because it's just using the same backlight of the TV and the quantum dots just illuminate its pure color. And then, finally, so since the quantum dots is not using um, organic elements, so they are immune to screen break or we call it image retention. So let's say, for example, sorry, what's your favorite uh, TV station? What do you watch? Also, for example, si Sir, mahilig kay Provinciano Cardo, ABS-CBN, ang gusto ni Sir. Okay, if you watch the ABS-CBN, the ABS-CBN logo or the parental guidance logo is always on the screen. So if your TV is organic LED, after a long period of time, it may leave a stain on the TV or like a shadow. So that's called image retention. However, with the quantum dust TV, since they are not orthotic, then you don't have that kind of problem. They don't have the screen for it. Yes. Okay. So, what is the quantum dot, quantum dot monitor made of? So number one, we're using it now for television, just like what the back, the, the one did. And then another one, also monitors. You can also use the quantum dots. And then laptops. And even um, Apple is now already developing their Apple mobile phone with a quantum dot monitor a screen. Okay? So these are the uses of the quantum dots. So here I'm just showing you the actual shot with it side by side in a quantum quantum TV and an OLED TV. So based on this picture, you can see that the OLED TV really portrays more white and bluish color. Rather than if you look at the quantum UHD TV, it is the balanced color that 
what you really want to see is what you can see on the TV. Okay? That's the actual shot. Alright, so now I'll be talking about the Divine Quantum UHD TV features. Okay, so first, so the Divine uh, UHD TV, because of the quantum that's added on the TV, it determines the specific colors you want it to see on the TV. So it can create the higher volume, therefore it provides greater range of vivid, authentic, and realistic colors. So this is what the quantum dust wanted to bring on. Like what we see with our naked eye, we see now on the TV. So that's the reason for the quantum dust. So that's why we achieved that the most accurate color. All right, and then um, the device quantum TV has the technology called local dimming. So what does the local dimming do? Is it, it manipulates the LED backlight. That's why if you wanted to achieve, let's say, um, like a Batman movie, like more on the dark scene. So what the local dimming technology on the TV does, it will manipulate the backlight, it will dim the backlight. That's why your TV can portray the realistic dark scenes. So, and then you can achieve that accurate contrast. Okay, also our TV has the MENC technology, like especially all the guys here. If you like to watch like, like here, a, a motocross or any fast moving scene, with the MENC, before, you can see from this picture, before you miss the hype, the most exciting part, because it's already vague. But now with the MENC on our TV, now you can see the details. So. You can enjoy even the fast moving scene. So because of the MEMC technology, we can achieve that accurate motion. And then um, our device Quantum UHD TV is also equipped with DBX TV. So it's an award-winning audio technology. So you get the best combo for a movie watching. You're enjoying not just the realistic colors, but having a swell to experience the cinematic surround sound. So it's a two-in-one, you're getting both. And another one, like Caesar, Sunday Caesar, he's familiar with the HDR. So our demand, uh, our demand quantum UHD TV also has the high dynamic range. So it ensures that, you know, the brighter white and the deep black of a tone is beautifully and realistically presented. So if you can see, before when it was dark scene like here, you cannot really appreciate the dark scenes anymore. But here with the HDR, especially if the movie has the HDR also, and our TV is HDR compatible. Like for example, before, this is the scene. You cannot see the details anymore. But here, it balances the brighter whites and the darker brights, and the darker darks, and then, you know, the, the colors are more realistic. So that's what's good about the TV. Also, of course, not everybody's downloading. Maybe, uh, what's the resolution that you download normally? Full HD, HD, or 4K? Really? See, the 4K. Wow, we need to type a copy, guys. Sir, my 4K, pala. You know, to download 4K, sir, is it too? Is it fast to download the 4K? Hell no. So most of the time, our 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 videos are just what resolution, sir. Oh, HD lang si sir. Full HD lo mega lang si sir, 4K. So don't worry guys, if your video is just HD or, or full HD. So with a 4K upscaler, you know, the Deva TV, it will enhance the viewing of the lower resolution. It will try to convert it closer to achieve the ultra high definition viewing as possible. So enhancement. Like okay, so that's all about the quantum functions of the demand uh, UHD TV. Okay, aside from being a quantum ultra HD TV, it's also a smart TV. Okay, it's powered by the Vida YouTube. <coughs> okay, so um, I will be discussing um, just two features. Okay, so. Are you still hungry? <laughs> no, the mask. Just two, okay? Just give me the last two, okay? So first, we have the, this function is called any view cast. So technically, when you say any view cast, it's just, you sync your mobile phone, and then you can see, whatever you see your mobile phone, you can see on the TV. Wireless. Oh. Yeah. 
So that's the any view cast technology. So just like what it shows in the screen. So I have here heel, my partner. Okay, so he'll try to connect your mobile phone. Oh guys, by the way, heel's phone is Android. Everybody here using Android? Yes. No? Si Sir talaga high-end, the 4K guy, no? Sir, you're Apple? Okay, sir, you know, Apple is, you know, they're always very selfish. So, that's why. Miss Clara, can I say it? Okay, that's why we also developed another product just for the Apple. You can still have the casting on TV, but at least with the wire, but at least you can see what's ever in your phone. Just using the mirroring cable, then you can also see for the Apple. And I think everybody goes home with this. Yay! Yes? Is that right? Okay, so we're giving away. Of course, sir, if you have the Android phone. Is your phone an Android phone? Oh, yes, sir, you can do that. So here, so just right now, here you want sensor, please make sure. So here's phone. Yeah. So don't connect yet, kasi si Hill muna ha. Nangunguna kayo eh. Si Sir, talaga gusto niya. Sir, um, make sure ha, no censored. Okay. Okay, so now you can see from Hill's phone. So now he's connecting his phone. So that's the ATVCast technology. So wireless, ayan ha. He can sync his phone to the TV. So what are the benefits of having the any view cast? So you will be enjoying number one. There are four benefits. Number one, you can play your favorite video game or football matches. It will become more exciting because you can just pop it out on the bigger screen and your mobile phone without the hassle of any wire connections. Wireless. Okay, so just like here, here. Because like the controller, so before when you were just playing, the buzzer, I'm boring, and na ang liit. But now, you can pop it out using the interview cast on a bigger screen and you can enjoy more of your favorite video game. Alright, so aside from that, I can see there are so many, I think the ladies and the guys here, the gentlemen, they are also business person. Okay. You can also use that one. You can also use your mobile phone now for your presentation. So you can just yeah, present it on the TV. Gun are the days for the bulky projector. So just use your mobile phone and then screen share easily your business presentation. And don't worry because the one is a quantum UHD TV. It has a 4K resolution. It can project the most vivid details. So even the numbers, you can see it very clearly on the screen. So Hill, can you show me an example? Uh, oh, 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 my God. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love So anything, you can use like everything in, the, in your mobile phone. Whatever you do, any applications you can use for business presentation, anything. So that's the presentation also. He'll save on his phone, so now you can have your, your phone as the, like the projector. <laughs> of course, another one. <laughs> Kanina, napansin si Sir. Yeah, Sir was asking me, he was so touched at the scene on the the commercial wherein the, the, uh, the child girl, she was calling her dad. Yeah. Can you relate, Sir? Mm -hmm. Ah, kasi yung anak niyo. Ah, okay. So, Natasha din sa scene that, you know, what's good about our TV is like, it's bringing the loved ones together. Like, let's say, all of us were, OF, we have OFW business and we have so many loved ones. So, before, we will be calling them na through just mobile phone and, di ba? Parang you cannot really feel them. But now, with this, you can have the interview cast. Oh, I think he is calling someone. Try to call someone. So that why. So he can call and then you can see everybody in a live size image. So at least now you can see clearly our loved ones, even if they are abroad. Alright? See, 
may tinatawa, si Chiki yung tinatawa rin yung cashier. Okay? Ayan. Alright, so that's another one. Thank you, Paul. And also, you can also share. You know, maybe you can share your IG stories. Okay, you can also share the captured video from your mobile phone and then call out your friends and then you can all laugh out together what has been taken. Okay, so yeah, see here. Yeah. Oh, see? So you can just share the photo in a bigger scale. And so that everybody can be seen. Okay, so that's another one. Then, finally, of course, if you have some movies stored in your mobile phone, you can also share it on the screen and then you can watch that movie. So, for example, Hill is showing me what, what's that movie here. So, that one, that's the movie stored in Hill's phone, so you can also project it on the bigger TV so that more people can enjoy the movie. Okay. Yeah, so you can share. Okay, everybody. Okay, so give me, this is the last one, okay? This is the last function I'm going to explain. Another one is what we call YouTube Cast 2, okay? This feature, I'm not sorry. Feature na? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, possible. Baka nyo re-restrict ni Netflix or yung pag-output ng video. Sometimes. It's because of uh, DRM. Yung security. The security from the Netflix. That they Netflix don't... to... Yeah, sometimes they prohibit that. It's like uh, anti-piracy. Oh, it's like Netflix that. already, so it's not piracy. From the phone, you wanted to casting DRM. Uh, if we say yan, hindi na alaw nung ni Netflix, nung gadget. si phone. Si phone, ni-restrict niya. Kanya, kung pag alam si sir, our TV is Netflix certified. So, actually sir, you don't have to cast it because this one is already has a Netflix application. Oh. You don't have to cast it anymore. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's just that, yeah. It's, and it's just that sometimes Netflix prohibits, let's say, it's your phone, they don't allow it, it's not certified. But don't worry, that the one, not just the UHD account of even the normal full HD smart TV, it's already have the Netflix. And we are licensed and certified. So, talagang gagana siya. Okay, so another one, the YouTube cast to what is this function? So, this one, your mobile phone can be the remote control to turn on the TV as long as the TV is on standby. Okay? Kasi kung hindi nakasaksak, totally, hindi talaga kaya yun ha. Okay, so it should be on standby. When the TV is on standby, you can just use your mobile phone to turn on the, the TV using the uh, feature YouTube Cast 2. Okay, so how does it work? So first, so you you navigate the YouTube application on your smartphone. Okay, here. And then, from your mobile phone, so let's say I've already entered the uh, YouTube, and then from your mobile phone, you have to look for that icon, the spare icon, and then it's like Bluetooth searching for something, and then you can see this. This is the default name of our TV, the smart TV. And then finally, okay, I'll show you the video, how does it work. In this video, we'll show you how to link your phone or tablet to your TV. When your phone or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your TV, all you'll need to do is tap the cast icon. From here, you'll be able to choose where you want it played. By the way, linking works with any TV device that can support YouTube on TV, not just Chromecast. If you're not on the same Wi-Fi network as your TV, you can still link. To get started, launch YouTube on your TV. Navigate to Settings, then choose Link TV and Phone. Now go to Link with TV Code. On your phone or tablet, tap your account icon. Now tap Settings. Then Watch on TV. Now tap Enter TV Code. Once you enter the blue TV code shown on your TV, tap Link. Now when you
only tap the cast button, you'll see your TV listed. So let's try to turn off the TV to be sure that I'm not telling lies here. Okay, so here, uh, look at the 65 inch TV over there. So he has already activated his YouTube castle on his mobile phone, Android phone now. Okay, then he's choosing the smart TV. So that's the name of the TV. And then. mobile phone who turns on the TV and then on the TV it will automatically go to the YouTube page of the TV so another good thing about this is not just the remote control so now the the mobile phone because also some smart TV nowadays in the market you can see it's so difficult to type uh, the, the, the video that you want to see it's so difficult to use the let's say the other kind of remote control so now Having this one, the YouTube cast, you can just type within your mobile phone, so it will be easier. Okay? Another another good thing about the YouTube cast too. Oh, by the way, guys, for the YouTube cast to work, it should be, all gadgets should be connected under one Wi-Fi router. Okay? Because it's like the Wi-Fi the wi router is like the, the bridge for all of it. Let's say, for example, so another, this is another feature. So, for example, you have one Wi-Fi router at home. Uh, the little girl's room, you have one TV. And then another TV on the boy's room. But then the mommy has to cook, okay? So mommies, you can also use this as your, it's like your CCTV to the TV, what they are watching on YouTube of your kids. So let's say the mommy doesn't like the little boy's video. So having, she can see it through her mobile phone, what's the boy is watching. So she can just easily skip it. Yeah, so you can control. It's like a parent's control over the YouTube video. So this is a very good feature for all the moms. And also to the husband. <laughs> okay? So that's how it is. Okay? Okay, so that's all. Thank you for listening.